This is a good night for a young comedian's first appearance on network television because the audience is in a good mood and things are really cooking. Uh, Gary is from Tucson, Arizona. Appears regularly at the uh, Comedy Store. <laughs> Tucsoners. He appears at the Comedy Store in Hollywood and at the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, California. As I said, this is his first time, so make him feel welcome. Would you welcome Gary Shen? Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's very nice. I'm so excited to be here. I uh, had a great day. I went to the bank uh, earlier today. And, uh, have you gotten your free pen yet? These are free. I, uh, you just yank these things and they pop right out. And uh, I got a desk calendar, too. Uh, you need a screwdriver to change the numbers, but they're free. And uh, then I went to the laundromat today because they have free clothes uh, at the laundromat and uh, picked up a few things. And. Uh, I love going to the laundromat because you see people wearing the last thing they want to wear. Have you ever noticed that? People are wearing Bermuda shorts and a Nehru jacket. And uh, I just don't want to see that. Then I had dinner tonight at a little restaurant. You know, when you go in a place and they say, sit down, we're going to call you when your table's ready. And you sit down and you listen for your name over some cheap speaker, you know. And you never hear your name. What you hear is, so, party you too? So. <laughs> Dennis, uh, you go ask him, honey. You look stupid. You go up there and find him. <laughs> I'd feel funny, honey, but you're dressed for it. Go on up there. What they should do is just describe the people, see? Then we'd know who they're talking about. They could just go, the couple with the ugly children. Your table's ready. <laughs> and we'd know it's these people over here. We're so sorry. Uh, you want to cover those kids up? We're going to try to eat here. Thank you very much. Is that a nuclear accident or what? My God. <laughs> I ate dinner last night at a friend of mine's house, and uh, he has, um, what do you call those things? Uh, baby. He has a baby. And uh, <laughs> I'm a single guy. I don't know how to relate to this too well, you know. And uh, the baby's crawling around on the carpet, and this baby uh, loads up his diaper, you know. And uh, I'm sitting there, you know, and the mother comes over and says, isn't that adorable? Brandon made a gift for daddy. Now, I'm figuring this guy's got to be real easy to shop for on Father's Day. <laughs> I know what to get this guy, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Frank, open it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I made it myself, Frank, and uh, I hope you'll... <laughs> I don't have any uh, babies. I have two dogs uh, from a previous marriage. I have, uh, I have a sheepdog and I have an Irish setter. I got to tell you about my dogs, okay? My, my sheepdog kicks when he sleeps, okay? Now, my friend said that means your dog's having a nightmare. Now, what's a nightmare for a dog? Did you ever stop to think about it? What, he's drinking out of the toilet and the lid falls? <laughs> That's about it for a dog, you know? I mean, uh, I had that one once myself and woke up screaming. <laughs> but I didn't kick in my sleep. The other, the other dog is this uh, Irish Setter, and uh, Irish Setters are too hyper and inbred, like my cousin Stuart. And uh, <laughs> what happens when it thunders, she digs up the carpet to get underneath the carpet to get away from the thunder. And the vet gave me these animal tranquilizers to give her, you know? They're, doggy downers or something. I, I don't know what they are, but they tasted uh, real minty and they were hard to swallow. Uh, she still goes under the carpet, but I go with her now. And, uh, <laughs> we have a great time. I can't wait for it to rain now. Now, <laughs> my dad, I used to go camping with my dad and he's such a wonderful guy. He's older than me and uh, he... Uh, but he's gross. Is your dad gross? I mean, uh, my dad comes to the breakfast table like this. What's for breakfast? <laughs> Come on, dad. We're trying to eat here, huh? Want to put a robe on or something? Just, uh...
grossing out the cat, Dad, all right? Put a sheet on or something. <laughs> then he'll unbutton his pants after he eats. All dads do this. They unbutton their pants, and then he'll unzip his fly, and then you can judge how good the meal is by how far down his zipper is, you know? <laughs> One time he stood up and his pants fell to the ground, you know, and we were at a restaurant, and... Uh, all the other fathers turned and said, Wow, what is he eating? <laughs> I used to go to Disneyland with him. How many of you have been on that ride? It's a small world at Disneyland. Anybody scared on that ride? Okay, just me, great. Uh... The worst thing about that ride is for the rest of your life in your head, you hear that darn song, don't you? <laughs> for the rest of your life, it's a small world. Na, 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 Give me a break, all right? Then I went on Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm home cleaning my house. Best ride, isn't it? But I'm home cleaning my house and I'm going, yo, ho, yo, ho, na, 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 na. I'm making love and I'm going, yo, ho, yo, ho, na, 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 na,